In this exercise tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through how to do a rubber band or an elastic band pullover. So with this exercise, you're going to be working two main muscle groups, your chest and also your lats as well. Now, if you've got a rubber band like me, an elastic band, you can either do this two ways. You can do this on a bench like I'm going to show you in this tutorial. You can also do this on the floor as well. You can take all the same principles of what I'm going to show you, but just do it on the floor. Now, firstly, what we need to do is secure the band that you're using around something that's not going to move, something where the band's not going to ping during the exercise. Now, I've got this resistance machine here, this cable machine. I'm going to loop the band around the resistance machine. And then once I've got it around, I'm then going to feed one part of the band through the other and create a knot. Now, in terms of this position, this is going to be a really nice position. I'm a little bit higher than the bench and that's ultimately a nice start position. So whether you're on the floor or whether you're using a bench, just make sure the height is a little bit higher than the floor or the bench. Now, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to come into a position where I'm laying on my back. So from here, I've got my palms facing each other. I've created a little bit of slack. And at this start point in the exercise, I can already feel the resistance of the band. So it's really important that you're far enough away where you can feel the resistance of the band and you're not like this where you've got loads of loose band. Once you've got that resistance at your start point and you're far enough away where you can feel the resistance, keep your lower back on the floor or bench that you're using, keep your arms straight and come directly away from where you've got your band suspended from. Slowly control the movement back and start to come again away from where you've looped your band or resistance band. At all times, I've got my palms facing each other. I'm not bending my elbows. The arms are completely straight and I'm trying to control the band back. I'm not just letting the band come back on its own accord. Think about both part of the movement, about nailing that first part nice and slow. And also you lower the band back to its original start position at the pace that you want. Once you've done your required repetitions, that would be your first set done. And of course you would repeat that for your desired amount of sets. So that's how to do an elastic band or a rubber band pullover.